over the last couple of months, it's kind of been a uh, you know hot topic of discussion, I guess you can say. It hasn't really been brought up much, but Epic Games has been talking about bringing back past battle passes to allow people to complete them, which kind of was a hot button topic. But now it's official that uh, some of the Battle Pass items could be coming to the item store. So let's check out this article from Kotaku. And of course, we're also going to really like look at the statement that was released by Epic Games on the official Fortnite website. Let's get into it, guys. Right here, this is the article that caught my eye. Fortnite will start selling Battle Pass rewards in the store. Epic Games says exclusive skins might appear in the store 18 months after their battle pass expires. 18 months is a long time. That's a year and a half, by the way. Um, now, I know I had a whole bunch of questions, and I actually looked into this a whole lot more. We'll answer those as we go, because I'm sure you guys are worried that, you know, that uh, the, what is it, uh, Drift might be coming back, or some of the, the skins from Season 1 could be coming back, but that is not the case. Let's get into it. Epic Games might, is making big changes to Fortnite's reward rewards moving forward. The skins that used to be earned exclusive, exclusively from Battle Passes will now have a chance to show up in the item shop years later. It's not really years, it's 18 months, which is a year and a half. Uh, under the current system, sought-after rewards unlocked through time-limited Battle Passes like, seasons for, uh, like this season's Fallout Armor can only be earned by playing during a specific t period of time. Once the battle pass is gone, so are all of the unique skins, many of which are licensed from famous franchises from Star Wars to Dragon Ball Z, but not anymore. Um, I don't remember. You guys correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments section, but I don't remember a Dragon Ball Z skin ever being in a battle pass, if that makes sense. And that's the same with Star Wars. I don't remember a Star Wars skin being in a battle pass. An announcement over on Fortnite's website outlines changes moving forward that will bring some Battle Pass uh, rewards to the item shop with at least an 18-month delay. Here's how Epic describes the shift. Items in the future Battle Passes might be offered for purchase in the Fortnite shop after 18 months uh, from the Battle Pass's expiration. A Battle Pass item may include a different item, um, different number of its alternate styles each time it comes to the item shop. Um, this change lets us continue uh, investing in new and exciting Battle Pass rewards while enabling players down the road to enjoy the content offered, uh, including outfits based on popular licensed characters. Which, to me, it makes sense because licensing is not cheap. We're just going to throw that out there. Licensing is actually really expensive, one. Two, Epic Games has been like in, like, in this epic epic court battle with apple and of course google over the uh use of mobile devices in playing and trying to make it cheaper for individuals to play the game on mobile so they've spent a ton and i mean a ton of money trying to combat these and be the good guy surprisingly and you know basically showing that these companies apple and google that is have been doing some shady practices. Um, the might there means that Epic isn't guaranteeing that every item will eventually be resold, preserving the current incentive to unlock it from the battle pass. This change only applies to rewards moving forward, so the old skins from John Wick, Spider-Man, and more will remain locked for anyone who didn't already earn them and doesn't have a time machine. <laughs> Yo, if you got a time machine out there, hook, hook a brother up. There's a whole bunch of mistakes I'd like to fix. The total number of alt styles available on skins if, uh, skins if and when they're resold will also vary except for Lego versions, which always be included by default. I mean, I will admit, some of those Lego skins are pretty dope. Um, this is essentially Epic giving players 18 months advance warning that anything they unlock in a battle pass moving forward might show up on, a, on an opponent who is just able to buy it from the store. That will no doubt ruffle some feathers who feels a sense of you had to be there. And I mean, that that is one sense of like gatekeeping, especially take the L emote 
or you know some of the other ones like floss and stuff like that. Of course, those are not in this 18 month um, return to the shop. They're talking about battle passes moving forward, so I'm not sure if this battle pass is going to be included. I know they did mention in this article talking about the power armor for Fallout, right? Um, which I will admit. I am super disappointed in the Fallout crossover. I was expecting way more other than a, you know, Volt Boy back bling and some power armor and the Nuka Cola being in the game. Um, it is important. Uh, let's get back to the article. It is an important element of Fortnite's social contract. Other players will probably wish this change was retroactive so they had a shot at buying past costumes they missed out on. Um, and I mean, it, it would be nice to go back and get some of these older skins. Like one skin, it wasn't a battle pass skin, but I kind of wish I bought was the Kratos skin. I really wish I would have gotten the Kratos skin, but I don't have that. Now, granted, I have a whole bunch of like random obscure skins. Like uh, I have the Marcus Phoenix one, the Master Chief one, the Psycho from Borderlands. Um, I have a whole bunch of skins that you just, they, they just not, they don't return to the item shop. Um, and, uh, you know, one that did kind of ruffle my feathers was the return of, like, the original Black Widow skin. And that one, I was like, I don't understand why they returned that one of all of them. But here is the uh, changes. That I, item exclusivity in, Fortnite, in future Fortnite Battle Passes. So, like I said, I'm not sure if, if this season's going to fall under this or if it's going to be next season where they're going to start the licensing. Because I, I believe that they're only going to do the licensed skins. They're not going to do the like the Fortnite skins, if that makes any amount of sense. So we're talking like IPs from, like I said, Star Wars or Marvel and stuff like that. Because I know from leaks, they were saying that this coming season is going to be heavily Marvel focused. Which kind of makes sense because this season we had a little hint of like uh, Magneto, um, of course Deadpool, Wolverine because the movie. But I mean those ones weren't really that big. Emma's throwing a fit. I don't know what she's throwing a fit about. But basically this is talking about 18 months after the battle pass expires. Any type of item from the battle pass may be added in the item shop for purchase including outfits, back bling. Pickaxe, emotes, instruments, decals, wraps, loading screens, banner icons, and more. Um, are the items guaranteed to return after 18 months? No. So, like I said, you probably won't see excuse me, any of the um, Fortnite exclusive skins, if that makes sense. These are probably going to be the licensed ones. Uh, when a Battle Pass item comes to the item shop, will, it, will its alt styles be included? The number of alt styles including included with the battle pass may vary each time it comes to the item shop if a battle pass item is in the shop with an alt style included players will have the option to purchase those included with the battle pass styles and the outfit slash base item if they don't have it alt styles do not include lego because lego is going to be included with the base um what about the item what about items in the bonus reward tab and tabs uh items in the bonus reward and quest reward tabs may be available for purchase in the item shop at least 18 months after so basically no skin is off limits so you're going to ha have the ability for the bonus and the quest rewards um there are usually items earnable from battle pass quests that unlock sometime after the battle pass launches um items are earned from battle pass quests that unlock sometime after the battle pass launches may be Available for purchase in the item shop 18 months after the battle pass expires. Uh, what about licensed IP content in the battle pass? Like I said, these are the ones that I think are going to be the items that will end up in the item shop. I don't think you're going to get like Oscar, the, the tiger from like couple, like two, three seasons ago. I think they're mainly focused on the IP, uh, the licensed IPs, because that one costs a lot of money. One reason for this change is that we want players down the road to enjoy battle pass content such as outfits, be outfits based on popular licensed characters. While there is no guarantee that the battle pass item will come to the item shop after the change, IP content from future battle passes might come to the item shop after 18 months. It's just repeating the same thing. And the prices will vary. Uh, like the, It says, is the price of the battle pass changing? No. So it's going to remain at 950 V bucks, which comes down to roughly eight eight dollars and forty nine cents USD, which isn't bad. Um, like I said, it's 
It's one of those ones that I, I kind of figured it was going to change eventually. Here, let's go full screen. Let me know down in the comment section, how do you feel about this change? Do you think it's a good change? Do you think it's a bad change? Do you think that this is really going to mess it up and you feel like being a gatekeeper? Much like a lot of players when it comes to Fortnite. I mean, I did kind of go on a tirade about how I, I was like, why did they return the OG Black Widow skin? But, you know, it's neither here nor there. It wasn't in the item shop for so long, and then it just randomly appeared. Um, I think this is just an interesting change. I think it's a way for them to recoup money, not just allow new players to be able to purchase IP skins that they want. But I think this is a way for them to genuinely try to recoup money because licensing IP is not cheap. It is not cheap at all, and it costs a ton of money. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to mash that like button and subscribe. We're on our way to 9,000 subscribers. I can't do this without you guys. Also, by the way, when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a 24-hour stream. I'm going to have to figure some stuff out. We're going to do a 24-hour stream. You guys more than welcome come and hang out in the chat when we, whenever I go live. I know. It's a lot of fun. I love hanging out with you guys. Anyways, until next time, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Have a great and wonderful day. Until next time. Bye.